everybody, what's going on? It's me, that guy from Team Needed of bringing you another reaction video. If you're wondering why I'm speaking in a British accent, sort of, it's because I associate medieval with uh, British accents. In medieval, you must be wondering, well, if you couldn't tell by the title of the video, I'm going to be re reacting to Warcraft, and I'm drifting to a more Australian, I should probably start talking in accents, but I can't. Help! Help! I'm stuck in an accent, I can't get out. <laughs> Okay, I can. So, we're going to be reacting to Warcraft. I really hope this movie's good. I've liked the trailers they've been showing before a bunch of movies recently. And I know the studio has an insane amount of confidence because this movie was supposed to be out already. And instead of having it, quote-unquote, thrive because they have that much confidence like around the time Batman v Superman came out, they decided it was competitive enough to put in the summer movie. So, we're going to see if this trailer tells us where they should have kept their movie in March or if they can put their money where their mouth is and back up their claim. I mean, I'm going to go see this movie regardless and hope it's good. Speaking of video game movies, everyone's talking about Warcraft, but no one's talking about Ratchet and Clank, and that comes out, like, next week. And I'm a little confused and a little worried about that, because you'd think people are pushing for a video game movie to be successful. You'd think a franchise like Ratchet and Clank would be, like, a no-brainer to see, but whatever. We're going to start this now. Okay. Extended <laughs> sequences of intense fantasy violence. I mean, it's a movie. It's all fantasy. We have had peace in these lands have for you? many years now. But one of our villages burned tonight. In the other trailer, he said they know nothing but war, but whatever. War is coming. An invasion. If we do not we'll unite fight. to fight this enemy, our world Ooh. will perish. We've that shot before. Saving the world is not a one-man job. This trailer we definitely has a different feel than the first together. one. You have me to protect you. I need no one to protect me. Well, I don't doubt that. Well then. However, you still need my help. There's that eagle shot. They're stronger. Be smarter. <laughs> I love how they basically have the party system going too. All, but together, we might stand a chance. All right. What are do we it now. To do? I'm like in like the fight circle, fight club sort of brawl. I'm assuming this is more from the climax, but it could be a bunch of electricity going and a bunch of enemies generally seems like a climax to me. June 10th. So that was the Warcraft trailer. Um, it definitely had a different feel from the first one. It seemed a bit more... I uh, know, uppy action wise, if that's the wording for it. I uh, can't wait to see Ben Foster do his thing in this movie. And don't think they're showing me who's in this movie. Okay, so yeah, we got Paula Patton, Ben Foster, Toby Kebble. Those are the only people I recognize at the moment. But, you know, it's never. A mistake to cast talent, and this movie has casted talent, at least in some of its roles, so it should be good. I mean, the action looked fine. It looked like it could be a very nice war movie. A somewhat lighter Lord of the Rings, maybe. Maybe the same tone as Lord of the Rings, if I'm going to compare it to something. There isn't much fantasy to compare it to. Because Lord of the Rings has sort of dominated the market for that for, like, nine movies. But... I really hope this movie's good. Video game movies need a win. Because if Ratchet and Clank doesn't have that much confidence in it, at least that's my impression from the studio, I hope this is good because we can't take like two, three video game movies being basically bad in one year. Because that'll just sort of kill anything in the can for video game movies. Because I think a lot of studios and whatnot are sort of backing off and seeing how Warcraft does. And if it does well, they're going to greenlight whatever project they've been putting in production hell. 
But if it does bad, they're going to be even more hesitant. Like, you know, Uncharted and The Last of Us have sort of been in production hell because they're consulting with the gaming studio, which is something you should do. It's just they can't seem to agree on a script. Though Uncharted movie, Naughty Gun and Dog games in general are very cinematic, so I don't think it's a problem to consult, but they need to be willing to have some wiggle room because obviously there's a different medium of person's going to be invested for 10, 12, 20 hours or more in a video game. But a movie you're going to have to squeeze down to about an hour and a half, two and a half hours, maybe three, but that's pushing it nowadays because people evidently have the attention span of a net and can't take a three hour movie because here's someone go to the movies three hours and they're like, eh, do I really want to see it? I'm like, come on, it's three hours. It's like, well, I could play three hours of a video game then What's the problem? I mean, I know a video game has you more immersed. I'm just saying. I don't really get the whole people need to like stick to an hour and a half, two and a half hours. I remember being at a screening of Nightcrawler and the lady said the movie was like two hours and like 10 minutes or two hours and 20 minutes. And I just heard an audible Ugh, from like everyone at the screening. And I was like, what? Really? It's two hours, guys. You went to see a movie. You waited in line longer to get into this movie than you are to watch this movie. So evidently, waiting in line for two hours, fine. Watching a movie for two hours, that's tiresome. I don't know. That's just my two cents on the whole thing. So let me know what you think of the Warcraft trailer down below. Let me know if you think this is going to be good. What are your fears of this movie? What do you hope for this movie? And if you didn't like anything in the trailer, you know, let me know down below. If you like something in the trailer, let me know. Uh, be sure to like, share, subscribe with your friends. We're going to break on three. One, two, three. Break. See you next time, folks.